Today we will be preparing a pH rainbow. A pH rainbow takes advantage of the range of colours which a universal indicator solution shows at various pH values. Firstly, seven test tubes have been set up and part filled with water. Several drops of universal indicator solution are added to each test tube. The universal indicator remains green, indicating the presence of a neutral solution of pH 7. The test tubes are then shaken up, ready for the next stage. Now we need to prepare our initial acidic and alkaline solutions. Several drops of hydrochloric acid are added to three of the test tubes. These are then shaken up to produce a red colour, indicating the solutions are very acidic. Several drops of sodium hydroxide are added to another three of the test tubes. These are then also shaken up to produce a purple colour, indicating the solutions are very alkaline. To create the rest of the colours of the pH rainbow, varying volumes of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide are added to the test tubes until a complete spectrum of colours is observed. Acid and alkali only need to be added to four of the test tubes, as we can keep the solutions which are red, green and purple as they are. This can be quite difficult to achieve when using solutions straight from the reagent bottle. The acid and alkali may need to be diluted down first using water. At the end of the experiment, we can see that we now have seven test tubes showing a complete range of colours. These go from red, orange and yellow for acidic solutions, green for neutral solutions and blue-green, blue and purple for alkaline solutions.